Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on the very highest difficulty legendary Iron Man permanent dark events with nothing but rookies. Have I mentioned that we upped the challenge and want to try to beat it with four rookies and four rookies only? Damn right. It is critical to uh, uh, to do that in order to uh, make it as hard as humanly possible potentially it's not possible but for the fun of it we're still in it it is october month number seven we're or six uh, rather we are fighting against everything but uh, um, uh, sector pods and gatekeepers this is a retaliation mission called Operation Lost Terror, where we're trying to not only stop the retaliation, but also stop an infestation of what potentially is chrysalids. I am not sure if we're going to see super heavy mechs, just in case if we do, I brought uh, two blue screen rounds, brought two times our good old beacon. And because chrysalids are just the bane of everybody's existence, I will bring one med kit instead of a uh, supersonic lure. I don't even know if losts and chrysalids go well together. Imagine the chrysalid like kills a lost and then all of a sudden there is a chrysalid spawn. I don't even want to think that through. That seems like an awful, awful, awful mechanic if we're being overrun by like hundreds of chrysalids. The only way to, to then survive it is get all four of our operatives like on one uh, tower in the middle of somewhere. Uh, so that the chrysalids can't even jump up and then it is like in uh, um, Starbucks where uh, um, where uh, um, where there is an overarching amount of chrysalids uh, or aliens coming to you anyways I digress uh, let's get into the actual mission Andros and Arius here have a bond uh, Synops and Lyrico could build one so Let's try to go, uh, go for that. Lyrical was uh, the one as a reminder who lost her bondmate. So it's a bit of a bittersweet uh, uh, kind of a reunion. She kind of rekindles now with uh, Synapse. Um, and he's very doubtful. Shall I go with a Black uh, Widow? And will I be the next one? Uh, all of those questions will be answered in a minute as we are going into the terror mission. I frankly think that we will not be able to pull it off because uh, we don't have the uh, offensive power, but then again, ever so often you're just losing a mission and gotta cope with it. So it is what it is. Let's jump right into it. And we are landing in the middle of nowhere. There's a bit of high ground to the north. Luckily we brought our suit with us, so we could quickly engage on that high ground. And it's a classical mission. Oh, nice, we got a double agent. Look at that, guys. We got our double agent. So for once, we're playing with five. And I think he is just as good, if not better in hitting. He has two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. It's just, uh, it's effectively a fifth unit, uh, just without equipment. Cool. Thank you, dear continent bonus. All right. Tell you what. We'll get uh, into that in a second. Um, On my way. Moving up. Grapple for high ground bonus. And let's try to kill this chrysalid. Nice little shot from high ground. Love it. Let's see if a bit of stabby stabby works. No. <laughs> hmm. Too bad. Alright. It really doesn't matter if we're standing in the open or not against these guys. 
Yeah, triggered, triggered. Fantastic. And then we missed in true rookie fashion. Look, if we're getting closer, we do have trace around, so this should be a, a good shot. Yeah, we're taking the chances here. <sighs> Forehead slap. Boring. Even more boring. Oh boy, this is... This is going to be electric. It is going to be fun. And of course, a good old super heavy mech somewhere. One thing that would be missing now, just to kind of make the party complete, is a chosen that would be showing up. We know the guy is there. Moving up, moving up. Stun Lancer moves up. Come on. Why can't I charge in and stun Lance? Stun Lancers always can lance. Unless you are playing them. In which case, they apparently cannot. Good, we're moving forward. Maybe one strategy could be to just secure all of uh, the civilians here quickly. Very good. Stun Lancer down. The challenge that I see is, I know that there is, there are more of them borrowed, and we're going to take damage, but there is really not much we can do about it. Where's our med kit? Right over here. All right. Lyrical leads the charge. And is to a degree the living mimic beacon. Because she could be attacked and only takes that. What? Oh, holy. Good, so that's our one charge of get out of jail. going to take some more chrysalid poison damage. Gotta move further because we want to rescue more civilians. Down to one HP. Okay. Well, we got a medkit, and it will get you back on track, promise. I would say we're mimic beaconing this, potentially. can move a bit further back and nanomed kit a 
which means Synapse uh, will be the one with the Mimic Beacon. Alright, it's definitely going to be a Mimic Beacon now. There we go, this might even pull one of uh, the chrysalids. Good, we're reloading and then starting to hit that heavy mech. Nice little hit. Endors moves up. And let's finish it. I said let's finish it. Okay. But one thing that we could do, and I don't see why not, does that spawn loss? Okay, well, Chrysalid and Lost, we will now see whether or not this is going to be a problem or not. They die, but they do not spawn. Well, they... no, they don't. But these guys are down. Fifty five percent chance. I think this year will deal more damage, five to seven. This would be very aggressive. How many? Let's think that through. We had two chrysalids here, one, uh, two chrysalids here, one chrysalid here, two further. That's five. Pack of two. That's seven. Pack of two. Nine. Very difficult. Is more than nine. I'm afraid, but. And we also don't want to get too close to the. Uh, to the loss here. I think he's actually in a relatively decent position. And would have nicely hit uh, the chrysalid. Okay, so far so good. This guy makes sure that we're not, that we're not, uh, that they're not burning down all of the loss. Losts in the meantime catch fire by themselves. Nice, very nice. We could pull ourselves over.
high ground could be helpful standing up here and just killing these guys would not be bad the question is could we do that we will find out in a second all right going in hard and fast Frostbite is not really valuable with any of uh, these guys. It's a good chance to almost kill him. Let's get the dashers out of the way because they are being problematic and next highest target definitely is the chrysalids here. This guy is burning. chance we need to kill the chrysalis that's the problem the dashers however at the same time are also an issue mainly the dashers So far so good, reload and then let's kill this other chrysalid here. Got another mimic beacon and I'm wondering if we should use it. I'll wait until the very end. That's another one down. That's better be safe than sorry. And we're putting another Mimic Beacon right down here just too much going on and I don't want the chrysalids to have any excuse so that was a uh nice move he helped a lot uh, with just getting rid of the lost we this time i didn't bring a ultrasonic lure instead the med kit which already turned out to be a fantastic investment for this type of mission because i figured we we're going to run into chrysalids All right, great. Good, time to pick this chaos back up. So we got a chrysalid right here. We need to destroy this uh, priest right over here. And we got a couple of losts. 
quite a few. So <clears throat> let's try to get a few shots off and make sure that the losses are dying. Good. This could be a hit for the Chrysalid and we're just ignoring the Purifier. I think that's a fair trade-off. Okay. The game still takes a while to compute, apparently. There we go. Good. Well, the one thing that we would want to do, besides definitely killing this lost here is getting this breeze down how do we do that moving over here would be a good start don't want to get too close because uh, there could be another pack in there and let's start hitting the priest It's a pretty decent hit. All right, come on. Good. I should have moved Enders away. I'm pretty sure that nothing would have happened. He's not exploding. But there was a chance that that could have happened. Moving a bit closer. And we are nearing the very end of uh, this terror mission. Did we actually survive it? So no other enemies but uh, this one faceless. Well, that's interesting. Back Good. Everybody's moving over here. Let's move away from... From the cars uh, that's the first thing you uh, you would learn with the faceless ones you never want to stay near a car good overwatch overwatch and let it come Wait, what? Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's make sure to take it out this time. Oh no. Where is it? Where is the Archon King coming from? Well, on the upside Oh, well, that is bad. On the upside, we got a nice Overwatch trap going. Gotta be careful here. Okay, so the only one out of reach is uh, Synapse, and we're just going to Overwatch in case uh, he comes a bit closer. Now, oh, if we could hit a Frostbite, that would be so awesome. There we go, perfect. Fantastic, okay, well. Priorities first. Hitting him, there's a... Still frozen. Close, but not quite. Yeah, 
Do we have a repeater? No, we don't. Do we have a repeater on here? Yes, we do. 50-50, come on. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, nice. And we got some hair trigger on top of it. This is just such a rich turn. Good. We got to tank, uh, tank him. Just a little bit longer. Thankfully, we got a volunteer. Oh boy, we just eliminated the Archon King on a random terror mission. On a random terror mission. Nice. Very nice. Can we look? Can we find him? Can we find a high ground spot that would see him? Let's start with that idea. Over here is not an option. Moving here next turn, we could grapple ourselves on to the rooftop. Seventy percent, unfortunately, a miss. Moving up. Another sixty percent miss. Well, we got we got lucky enough with the execute, and then afterwards a hair trigger. Can't really complain about RNG. Even if it is another 50-50 that misses. Good, there we go. That's the last phases one. Very good. I think we have just out of curiosity. None of these would be in reach. Let's just reload for now and see if we can get that guy down. 57%. Uh, Looks like a kill to me. Reload Overwatch. Reload Overwatch. And let's say grapple from Aries over here, Overwatch. Okay, the high ground Overwatch shot missed, but our rando low ground Overwatch shots miss as well. Okay, well, at least we're consistent. Oh, so good. We uh, we cleared the Archon King. That was a huge step in the right direction. Imagine we could uh, get the Valkyrie suit now. Two items in that uh, suit. Three times repositioning. And a pretty nice suit on top of it. Just so good. Good, we landed. Our troops are making it look easy out there. And did we get a, a bond? No, not yet. 
Not yet. Now that we have recovered one of Dr. Valen's test subjects, Archon King Corpse. As soon as you Fantastic. Me. Love it. I think on top of it we also got chrysalids you and, your and almost 50 supplies. To the aliens today. Come well, that is great. Impressive work. I am still Let's change the research into Archon King Autopsy. Yes, please. What a good... No, what an incredibly good uh, way of tr of turning this around good we got Alois we got Larium but more isn't necessarily bad we could we could take some more and we can theoretically build some more mimic beacons not sure if we would really need more than two. Our our inventory is incredibly limited, and two seem to be kind of the right amount for us. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. I have come to Icarus armor. Great. Yeah, that's not really that's not really good. Go back to. A cannon research so that we could theoretically get another breakthrough we got enough cores and currently we're working on that uh, war suit might as well do Icarus armor afterwards defense matrix almost done Keep in mind, we're soon going to be shut down. Commander, there were a few wounded during the latest covert action. But after cool. a few days rest, assault rifles, just there. what we need. I think the other one was. Yeah, plus 10 dodge. Ooh, soldier capture. No, 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 we can't let that happen. We're lacking intel. Can we get some extra intel? Not from here. So before we go on to this mission, we need 25 intel to prevent the capture. Uh, we got enough time to, uh, to just... Scan for some intel here. Good. And let's take a look. Uh, surgical. Wow, that would be bad. That would be bad, but it's potentially countering the right dark event. Well... Can we really do three men? Neutralize a field commander, very difficult. That also tells you on top of it, um, we, we potentially need to fight against a chosen warlock with three people, three rookies. Ooh. Ah, uh, that's, uh, I will need to think about which of the missions we're doing. should make use of the ring facility and deploy our idle soldiers on a covert action with the resistance. Thanks, Bradford. I, as always, appreciate your insight. Super helpful. Good, let's continue with negative trade removal. It has worked quite well for us so far. War suit is soon to be done. Yeah, in reality, we will need to do one of those missions now. Hey, Aaron and Jeranx are almost done with their bond training, so that's fabulous. We got the level 2 teams here, uh, level 3 teams here, that would be an option. Another one would be 
to try to go with the level one team x is only lightly wounded uh, so uh, Shinrod and X could theoretically go in together. Yeah, I think I'll I'll come up with a decent team for the next mission. Is there anything else we need to do? We still got intel problems, but that's okay. I want the 10 dodge, so I'm not going to just let that uh, slip. But we have plenty of time. Defense metrics, three more days, so that'll soon be done and we're just going to upgrade it and are going to man it with a uh, with an engineer and this here could be our shadow facility soon and then we're really almost through the only thing that would be missing is a GTS or a second resistance comms but I would say we have everything that we need at that point gts do we really need that let's think about it can't do squad size upgrades can't do any of uh, the um, individual upgrades can't train classes i think it's completely dead building in this run yeah i'll think about it and see if if it could serve uh, some value Resistance ring again can't be further upgraded not yet. I think we will would need to have more influence on the other uh, on the other factions and we're never going to get that because We can't upgrade the missions every single mission Sometimes even the location uh, of a faction, but definitely the in increased influence missions all require they are hard blocked for us as they require um, a certain minimum level 10 dodge would be fine that would be great it would allow let's take a look with Roby that's 32 dodge plus 40 from the armor it's already 72 dodge so we're getting closer to the 100 uh, the 100 uh, dodge and from a health perspective if we get maybe one or two more health uh, he could actually withstand quite a few shots so I like what I'm seeing we haven't found a single aim um, mission so far but that certainly would be good okay anyways thanks guys for watching I appreciate your viewership if you appreciated how the uh, Archon King just snuck into this uh, retaliation mission and then died. Then leave a comment down below and let me know how you thought, uh, how you felt about it. See you in the next run and have a good one. Bye bye.